This video is about a second hand store here in Cebu. I'm here right now in CJ Korean Surplus Store located in Hernan Cortez Road warehouse in uh, number but you can see it's CJ Korean Store in Osama warehouse at the end of Cor Hernan Cortez Store near Kabangkalan and in here they I will feature all the different secondhand house items furnitures appliances even some electronics because as you know like expat who wants to stay here temporarily in Cebu or a different island you can always furnish your f house with used furnitures rather than all brand new if you're not planning to stay here permanently and besides some of this Secondhand items are more s strong and more durable than the brand new ones. So, I do have a lot of requests for secondhand items, secondhand shops of furniture, appliances, and other household items that you can find here in Cebu. So, this is the CJ Korean Surplus located in Hernan Cortez Road, Mandawi City. And this is one of the biggest surplus shop here in Cebu. So you can see the items. All their items actually is being priced. So like secondhand shops are open for haggling. There you don't have to keep on calling the staff for the pricing. You can see there that cabinet there is one and a half grand. Here is 10,000 pesos and all the bedside cabinets. But 95% of all the items here are price, which is a good thing. And then you have only the, the time that you can call the staff when you are ready to haggle. So these are some nice intricate furnitures. Fridge. Used fridge in from Korea, but look at this very nice cabinet, swivel chairs, dining chairs, all sorts. Even here, coolers, strollers, car seats. The prices are all negotiable. So it depends on how many items are you are you are buying, but like those mattresses there, you can haggle when you have more. You want to buy more, you can haggle the price down. And also there are times as well that these secondhand shops go on sale because they have a lot of stuff that they need to dispose. That's also another time that you can get a bargain. Like that, 4,000 pesos for that dresser or bedside cabinet. Or this one here, a cabinet, wooden cabinet, 5,000 pesos. All sorts of things. Like there's a saying, a man's garbage sometimes be a treasure in another man's house. So these are still usable still durable items because some of the furnitures that they have here are already been restored and repaired so they check every item and price them accordingly they accept cash and gcash and whatever mode of payment but i don't think they accept credit cards yet but look at this five thousand wood carved little cabinets very nice hardwood and you got here leather seats
cubicles, center entertainment center, sofa sets of different materials. You can see somebody there restoring or cleaning up some of the furnitures. So, like I said, most of these items that they have in display is already being pre-inspected. Um, all the broken ones has been segregated and thrown and what they sell are the one that's still usable and will still last for a few years if you buy it here so aside from the furnitures we'll also have a look at their household items you can see they got a lot of electric fans coolers fridge but here look at the seats so I got a foreigner that used to keep on contacting me regarding where's the best secondhand stores got uh, two or three of them keep on contacting me before but you know i have lilo making videos for a while since january because i have been so busy but this is the first time again i'm back to featuring what is around my island of cebu and hopefully eventually i will be featuring some areas of the philippines and other items where are the places that you can buy these things here in Cebu and other places look at that tiny city that's been cleaned up office chairs they are restoring some of the broken ones and cleaning up the dirty ones but you can see they are well selected they are not your run-of-the-mill some of the surplus stores here I mean the second-hand stores here are just run-of-the-mill throw it down there and that's it that's good enough that phrase that's good enough is another thing that you should be avoiding especially with other shops here that don't care about service as long as they can offer good cheap prices they don't care about if they're offering you any service what is this oh good storage box and they have desks. Tables, coffee tables, piano, dressers, cabinets. Even toys, mattresses, clothes, dishes pots and pans all your coffee steamer i oh, know you got steamer rice cooker brewer you know coffee brewer so a lot of items that is still usable made of good quality brands some of this that's why they can last long well look at this storage cabinets for your collectors items collections shoes bag shoes bed covers so I cannot feature you the prices of some of these items because like I said the place is open for haggling So all these pots and pans that is still good that still can be used can still last a few years so if you have any inquiries I will show you the location of this secondhand store it is located in Hernan Cortez, 
but I'll show you outside so you will be familiar if you want to come here and want to purchase some of the items here if you're interested this is how it looks outside It's called CJ Korean Surplus, open from 10 a.m. at close at 8 p.m. I want to make sure they're open, they opening days and time. Dong, dong, open mo every day? Yes, po. Okay. Ma close lang kami mapagano, pag may container na dumating. Ah, okay. So they're open every day from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So they, this is Hernan Cortez Road. Here in Mandawa City, it is easy to find Hernan Curtis Road, and this is warehouse number five. So you can see the number five up there, and that's the name of the place CJ Korean Surplus. So they have a container right now and I was told that when they have new containers that come for new items, they usually close the shop first to let all the stock in. But you can see like um, if you want to buy your to kid a toy and you want it like substantials, you might get a bargain from here. And still usable for a few years so it's not really a poor quality surplus but they are still very usable it's mostly for household items furnitures appliances housewares and your personal items bag shoes shirts and Jewelries, like fancy jewelries, and even the tiny trinkets, they do have some of that. So, come and try to visit if you all are looking for secondhand, secondhand items, secondhand household items here in CJ Sur Korean Surplus, located in. Hernan Cortez Road, warehouse number five.